Hello there, YouTube. This is Zoo Tycooner Steve coming back with another episode of our Rearf Park. That is the recently extinct animal. Oh, I'm uh, no, it's been too long. I've forgotten. Recently extinct animal recovery center. Yes, yes, I did it. Totally did it. And today we are bringing back another species. Uh, which is kind of the species that uh, kicked off my idea for this park, so I definitely wanted to do it, and that is the Pyrenean Ibex. I'm gonna go with Pyrenean, I guess it's, let's see, the mountain range is the Pyrenees, so maybe it's Pyrenean. I'll leave it to you in the comments to decide, but we're totally bringing back the insert your pronunciation here Ibex. And like I said, these guys were actually one of the things that inspired me to uh, begin this Rearc Park, because this species of ibex uh, went extinct around the year 2000, and it's actually one of the first completely extinct species that we have, as human beings, attempted to clone. Uh, there actually have been some uh, successful clones, but uh, so far we haven't been able to get any that were able to sustain a breeding population. So. These guys are right on the cusp. We gotta get the Ibexes down, then we go to Woolly Mammoths, and then we'll go to Tyrannosaurus Rexes, which I'm sure will go completely fine, because nothing bad could happen when you clone dinosaurs. I'm pretty sure I saw that in a movie once. But anyway, here we are, uh, building up here in the top right corner of our zoo. And you can see I'm making this little walk over here, because uh, I kind of wanted to do something a little different. Typically when I do corner displays like this one, I kind of put all the animal things towards the back and I make it so that the guests have to walk around just sort of the front area but I wanted to make this one a little more inclusive let you walk all the way around so that's what our attempt is going to be here and we're going to make it so that the animals can actually sort of walk through tunnels underneath the guest area in order to go from the outside part of the exhibit to the inside part of the exhibit where they're going to go into these beautiful little stables that we're gonna build for them here uh, probably gonna go with white Think this is gonna work i think this is gonna work this isn't one of the ones that i like secretly here a little inside baseball sometimes when i'm not sure about a design i will actually build the exhibit and then sort of go back to the previous save before it was built and redo it on camera uh just if i'm a little nervous about it actually working haven't done it this time this time we're flying by the seat of our pants oh as you can tell by the fact that windows wants me to reload here uh, i'll get past that and keep building these fences out um, yeah, I'm gonna have to hide the ends, I think, here. So let's go ahead and make a three height. Something like this. Very cool. Then we'll make a matching box like that on the other side. Don't let me forget that. Um, do I want to do that that way, or do I want to include something else there? Problem is, we are right up against the wall here for the zoo. Does that look okay? Hmm. Hmm, I say. Hmm. Let me do some uh, think I'm a bit. Maybe I can disguise it with, like, this granite wall. Is that gonna work? Yeah, kind of, sort of. Yeah, it's floating. Let's get rid of that. And that. Maybe flip it around here so it's not a repeated pattern. Nope, won't work if we flip it, so gotta do it this way. <clears throat> I don't hate it. Oh, I can't put the uh, stairs there either because it's at an angle. Oh, I did make this at an angle. Oh, I've increased the difficulty level for myself. That's okay. We'll get over it. <clears throat> so, you don't have to remember me. <clears throat> Excuse me. I can. Cough button. Give me a second. Okay, much better. Uh, what was I talking about? I forget. Moving on. Okay, let's uh, let's go down here. Oh, <clears throat> I'm saying, geez, I guess I need to get a drink of water. Let me pull this real quick to me. Delicious and refreshing. But anyway, we'll go ahead and build our zookeeper entrance here. So uh, it's going to be a little inconvenient for the keepers with this design. You're going to have to walk through the outside area to get to your like tables and stuff. But tough. That is the life of a zookeeper. And I don't like this glass here. Let's build this up a little bit by putting these posts down. Uh, post, post, post. We love to post. Post, post, post. We love to post. Get it even. There we go. And same thing on the other side. Uh, more or less like this. Like this, this, and this. And let's put a couple of these vertical bars across that area that you can still see. Like so. Okay. I think that's going to work. It's going to look at least like it's intentional. And pull up these fences again. Keep it at that height. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do anything special there. 
Um, probably should put a floor in, like so. And let's go ahead and build walls here, since the guests aren't going to be looking at it anyway. Um, yes, yes. Very good. Very good. And we'll put in another door. And, uh, probably should put more of these posts in. Ah, uh, real quick. One, two, a three, a four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, a five, a six, a seven, and an eight. Perfect. And same bars across there. Very good. No, let's go ahead and throw a roof on this guy. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful roof. And some maples. There we go. This is, um... It's been a while, so I'll remind you. This is just to the side of the Eastern Elk Exhibit. I think that was the last thing we did at the Riyadh Park. Like I said, it's been a while. We did have to move, and, uh had uh, a little bit of a problem getting back into the groove of Zoo Tycoon, so I'm very happy to get back in here. Uh, but we'll keep wrapping these flowers around, and um, I want some of that grass we usually use. Where is it? Do I not have any? Uh, let's... Yeah, okay, I'm gonna use the junipers to just kind of disguise the fact that there's nothing really behind those trees. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, yeah, I'm liking that. And there's that grass with the daisies. Throwing down some daisies. Give it a dollop of daisies. Very good. Okay. Now let us turn our attention to making our habitat habitable for our Pyrenean. Okay, I've always been told the mountains were called the Pyrenees, so I'm going to call them Pyrenean Ibexes. Officially, they are Pyrenean Ibexes. Um, my word is law. Uh -huh. Make this a little bit different so they can actually get inside their uh, stables. Uh, let's go ahead and throw some outside food down here in these pallets. And some outside Wawa. Oh, I think I got an idea what we can do with these alpine rocks. Since we've got this walkover area and they've kind of got a flat thing. The flat side is what I meant by thing. Yes. Yeah, I think that's going to work great. And we'll move the water out here. Okay. Okay. Um, we don't really have a perfect, like, a tree that's naturally in their area showing up here. Hmm. So, that being the case, we might have to get a little creative with our foliage. Um, ooh, they can climb those. Definitely want to put one of those down then. Okay, and let's, um, they are kind of mountain goats. Let's make some hill terrain for them. Maybe even I'll cut in like a little lake thing down here. A little bit of water in that alpine tundra. And flatten this out. Sculpting the landscape. Ooh, these are pretty trees. They're not technically in the right geographic location, but I will use them for their prettiness. Uh, one on each side at the very least. And they're pretty tall too, so we can actually probably use them to decorate the back. Ooh, these are good. Got some little mountain pines. Mm -hmm. Let's kind of build these up around those rocks there. That's okay. Um, <laughs> probably, whoops, switch that over to the single A. Let's go ahead and put in some door controls. Door controls. Let's go ahead and put in some sliding doors here for our tunnels. And we'll want to do the same kind of thing for the stables. Don't let me forget to do the same kind of thing for the stables, but let's also get the guest area built in here while I'm thinking about it. Is that gonna work? Probably. Might need to adjust. Let's go ahead and adjust this so it looks more correct. Something like that. Yeah, okay. That's that's not as upsetting to me from an aesthetic standpoint. Um, what else do we need to do then? Each change brings more changes. Let's go ahead, before I forget, because your people are totally not going to remind me. I'm going to put in the doors for the stables. Mm -hmm. And the door so our zookeepers can get into that area. In fact, wait, we... No, we don't need a door there. Never mind. Never mind that one. Mm 
Yeah, okay. So I'll go ahead and close the tunnel there. This way the Ibexes get to enter like a football team entering the stadium. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and put in some accoutrement for our zookeepers here. Uh, one of these, one of those, a couple of tables, because everybody likes tables. And since it's an angle, it's not going to line up perfect like, but uh, should be able to get okay with this. And a couple of stools, because everybody loves stools. And some cabinet. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. So, nah, that walls aren't going to work quite right. Like. Um, okay. That's, that's, I can live with that. Let's go ahead and put a roof on this thing. Yeah, I'm going to stay with the darker wood roof. And I believe that we are one step higher than the pathway. Yes, I did that correct, so... This is not going to cause any hitbox issues with that uh, railing we're used to simulate a wall. I knew things. And put these big Mediterranean cypresses in the background, like I half mused about. I'm not sure if I used a complete sentence, but that's totally what I meant. And... Um, Having the thing here. Yeah, let's do it like that. Let's put a door there because that's going to be the zookeeper entrance. Um, and maybe. Nope, that's going to be too short. Don't want to do that. So let's just go ahead and get some hangy over things so we can make that look not quite as wide a gap. One hangy over thing. Oh, uh, we're running into the hole. See, I told you the difficulty increases. It's just kind of like that. Do I want to do that for all of them? No, it doesn't quite line up right. Uh, so we'll just put that there. Ah. Nope, not the right kind of wood. Yes, the right kind of wood. Okay, and we'll put the railings back. So nobody can jump in. In theory, at least. I guess you could totally walk over that fence. That fence is not that big. Uh, but now let's go ahead and turn our attention to this area, coming off this plate for the Stephen Island Wrens. Gotta get this all nice and flowerified. That's a word. Trust me, that's a word. For those of you who don't remember, we did make a delightful little exhibit here for some Stephen Island Wrens. Uh, ooh, it's been a couple of episodes back, been five or six episodes back, but uh, at long last, we're getting back to that section of the zoo, so we need to make sure we maintain an area for our zookeepers to get in and out, even as we put in our, what did I, what did I say it was pronounced as, Pyrenean Ibexes? Yeah, because Pyrenees. That's totally how that works. Okay, and put a topper on that one. And how do I want to do the flowers here? I'm guessing that we want to border the whole thing with our traditional white flowers here. And I'm probably going to do a row of yellow flowers behind it, and then just put in some of the grass with the daisies. I think that's I think that's the plan. That should work more or less. Mm -hmm. I really like the design of this exhibit, because i got a couple different viewing areas. I've got that both the bridge area you walk across, and on either side of the exhibit, you're going to be able to see it from ground level. So hopefully that will pay off the way I'm envisioning it in my head. Probably won't, but uh, fingers crossed. I don't think this will work. Will this work? It kind of leaves a gap there. Yep. Nope. Yep. Okay, we're just going to leave it as a ramp. Just gonna leave it as a ramp. No reason to mess with what's already fine. And in fact, I think we're at the point where it's time to start dropping some animals and zookeepers into the place. Do -do. Like so. All right, ladies and gentlemen, time for our final walkthrough. Here we are at our Eastern Elk exhibit. You can kind of see one inside its uh, stall. That's what we're gonna go with. Its corral. Whatever we want to call that, but let's keep on walking here. There's obviously the Stephen Island Wren recreation of Stephen's Island. But now if we turn about and face here to the right, not only are we greeted by uh, several bouquets of our beautiful white flowers, but <gasps> there they are. The majestic, I totally pronounced it right, Ibexes. Zoom in, enhance! And in fact, these guys, I forget where I got them from, but they are a really good model. Whoever did the skinning on that, props. I'll probably forget to acknowledge you in the comments, but, um, definitely did a good job. Great job, guys. Uh, like always, any of the things I use in my exhibits, you can find them on the, uh, 
Zoo Tycoon 2 Download Wiki. Definitely the first site you should go to if you're ever looking for any models. But let's go ahead and hit up the ramp now. That will take sort of a skyward view. You can see one of our guys, hey, he already climbed up his little hill there. Uh, uh oh, you can tell we're getting to the end of the zoo because my rapidly aging laptop is having more and more issues. It's almost time to invest in a new laptop. One of these days you're going to watch an episode and things are just going to go in blazing speed here. Uh, but it looks like everything's working fine. Kind of get a really, let's go ahead and right up to the edge of the fence here and see our beautiful ibexes. Um, I don't hate the door there. It looks like it's pretty well made. And I think we'll just go ahead and continue down the ramp and make our way back around so we can view this as if we were zookeepers in this zoo. And this is kind of like the last area we haven't built in here. This little green, uh, dirt grass area. Uh, that's all about that's left. And uh, there you can see our eastern elk a little bit better. He's starting to come out. Uh, but now we will go in through the service entrance door. Whoops, if we don't walk to the right too much, we'll go through the service entrance door, and we will go ahead and take a good look at our ibexes. Do -do -do. Oh, one of our tortoises gave birth. Do -do -do. That's probably another thing that's causing the lag. I've feel, I haven't been uh, clearing out the baby animals, so I'm sure I've got way more animals than we've uh, placed down, which is probably having a hard time with that. But here we are, in the exhibit itself. I tried to keep this one more kind of sparse. Uh, I got the impression that they were kind of more on the rocky, craggy areas of the actual Pyrenees Mountains than they were like the rolling metals of La Mancha. So that's what we kind of did there. Let's go ahead and go through our zookeeper entrance here. Uh, oh, hey, how are you doing? Cutie. I'm pretty sure that's a girl because the boys have big horns. Go ahead and go inside though and take a look at our stables. Make sure everything's up to the snuff. And yeah, so that would be a sufficient work area, I feel like. And we don't have any of our uh, tables up against the stables, so not a chance that one of the ibexes will lean over and eat one of our papers. So I don't have the excuse if I forget to turn in my homework. But now we are. And I think, I think that's gonna do it. Let's go ahead and zoom on out and take a nice little sky overlook for this one. And yeah, I think we're down to like our last one or two exhibits in the zoo. Um, as per tradition, I will be putting a uh, video up of a final walkthrough of the zoo, and I'll also put in a Dropbox file where you can download the zoo if you want to uh, work in it yourself or just have it on your own. But you can see we've got just this little area left here, uh, just north of our little bird cages just south of our ibexes. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be one or two creatures. It's going to depend on what animal I pick there. Uh, but uh, so far, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, be sure to actually like it in the bottom. Uh, if you want to keep up with this series or any other series on my channel, the best way is still to subscribe to that channel. Uh, thank you so much, and you have a great day.